something that I think we need to adopt in the library world is Mark Zuckerberg's personal mantra of moving fast and breaking things. What this means is that we need to remove all barriers between you and your goal. So the idea isn't as to be as reckless as possible. It's to remove barriers and friction between you and your goal. And part of that is building tools that keep you at the same breakneck pace, even as your infrastructure and company continue to grow. In the library world, we're stuck with this mentality of functional fixedness. Functional fixedness is a tendency to cling to set patterns and overlook possible new approaches. What we need to do is be more like MacGyver. So he's a resourceful agent with an encyclopedic knowledge of science, able to solve complex problems with everyday materials he finds at hand, along with, you know, duct tape and a Swiss army knife. We need to fail faster. Thomas Watson, the founder of IBM, said, the way to succeed is to double your failure rate. We need to do this. We need to keep on failing. We need to realize that good enough is good enough to start. Our product doesn't need to be perfect to run with or to launch. By the time that it's perfect, our customers won't want it anymore. Steve Jobs said, you can't just ask customers what they want and then try to give that to them. By the time you get it built, they'll want something new. We need to feed the feedback loop, so build feedback into the developmental process. Test a product, get feedback, tweak it, get feedback, and so on. So we're continually improving on what we're doing. We need to make sure we don't follow plan A into failure. Uh, we can miss out on new opportunities if we're too busy following a prescribed strategy. We need to have multiple options. We need to plant many seeds. John Steinbeck once said that ideas are like rabbits. You get a couple and learn how to handle them and pretty soon you have a dozen. We also need to seize the white space. We need to boldly go where no one has gone before. What isn't being done? What do people need that isn't being provided for them? We can't limit our innovation to traditional library boundaries, but we have to consider the entire teaching, learning, and research enterprise, according to Brian Matthews. We also need to nurture emergent leaders. These people are passionate and involved. They motivate others, they initiate new ideas, and they seek others' opinions. If they're coming up with new ideas, they're engaged in your organization. Find ways to say yes to emergent leaders. We also need to be bold. We can't be afraid to try something that we don't know how to use, like 3D printers or new software. We also need to forgive. So when people have the interests of the company in mind, if mistakes are made along the way, those shouldn't be met with punishment. It's easy to do, it's easy to discipline somebody, but those little things add up and they slow the organization down and we become less bold if we're you know, punished for making mistakes. Some groups that are doing some amazing innovation in the library field include the Harvard Library Innovation Lab, which is creating a browsing and visualization interface for an OPAC. Um, and that's really neat. The Fayetteville Free Library Fab Lab, which is a maker space. So the aim is to get users to become creators as well as consumers. It's an option for 3D printing technology. The Iowa City Public Library Local Music Project is a collaboration between local artists and the public library, which came about as a way to deliver music to patrons and reduce the amount of theft that plagues AV collections. David Lee King just had a great idea. He always has great ideas, though. He says, you know, those free song, free app, free book cards they have at Starbucks? Why don't we do that at libraries? We could do any kind of freemium service, free music, a free event, or free game. Last but not least is ALA Think Tank, which is a Facebook group for information professionals to share ideas, innovations, and ask questions. The Think Tank's motto is make it happen. So central to any fast-paced high-tech company is a spirit of innovation. My personal belief that is it that if you aren't trying new things and failing, you aren't learning. This is from Mark Zuckerberg himself. We need to try new things and we need to fail. We need to learn from our mistakes. So how innovative is your library? 
saying we're really slow but we're free is no longer a good selling point. We need to do other things to get people engaged in our library communities.